If you're going to release music that is dramatically different from a, an artist brand that you've already established, or if you already have an artist profile on DSPs, the streaming services, I would completely rebrand, choose a new artist name and release it under that because that you get to create a whole artist persona in an artist world and you can package it. You don't have to feel like it's tied to you as a person and it has to be about your personality or anything like that. You can create a character for this. Just in general, it, you know, it's better to create distinct standalone projects that have a cohesive identity than to try to match all of your inspiration and all of your influences into under one umbrella of a project because it's going to be really challenging for people to get who you are. Every artist can evolve. You can separate yourself. So many artists don't go by their own names, even if they're solo artists. Now, that being said, when you're in the promotional place of that record release, you get very specific and you hone in on what your story is for this album and what the story is you want to tell about the artist, which will evolve and it can change. But it's very confusing for people if they have to try to differentiate between your metal project and your hip hop, your seven different genres and all over the place and your Instagram is like all different in inspirations. It's hard for somebody to latch on to that project as an artist. And as you become more established, then you can do a bunch of projects. People that can be fans of one person's project and not the other. And now when it comes to sync licensing, even more so, you have to absolutely make sure you're separating that because a music supervisor or a sync agent or someone's gonna want to know that, oh, you're the acoustic girl. You're the one that does quirky, upbeat, acoustic songs so they can come to you for that. If you can do hardcore metal as well, that's too confusing for them. Help them out, so separate it.